Winters plus rain outside. Extremely cold weather. And I like it. Let's talk about top 2 programming languages of 2020 for making passive income. What's up internet, I am Manish from RebellionRider.com and welcome to 2020. January is about to end and I guess it's the right time to do this video. Programming languages that I'm going to talk about today aren't just any random names that I picked up from internet. In fact, I'm using them on a daily basis since 2014. Actually one from 2014 and the other from 2017 when I started working as data analyst. Together both these languages contribute to 80% of my monthly income. Since October 2019, I have done total 7 independent projects and all of them are mainly based on these languages. Except two, those were dubbed using Java. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about Java today. After all, it's 2020, not 2016. Let's start with the programming language number two. The programming language which is at the second place is Python. Yes, it is not at the first place. Anyways, Python, as we all know that, is a multi-purpose programming language which we can use not only for web app, desktop app or mobile app development, but also for game development, network programming and data analysis. Even in a survey conducted by JetBrains, 59% people say that they use Python as their main programming language for data analysis. Yes, you can use programming language like Java for developing data analysis app, but with Python, it's a lot cleaner and easier. In fact, you can do almost everything in Python that you can do in Java. Also, in a survey conducted by IEEE in 2019, they put Python at the first position and crowned it as the top programming language of the year. So did the stack overflow. The popularity of this programming language has increased exponentially, especially in last 5-7 to seven years and we cannot ignore it. I mainly use Python for statisticals and analysis purposes. Although I use various other softwares and services for the same, but I like to create my own custom scripts. Believe me, a pack of custom scripts is the secret weapon of a software developer. They make them different from each other. Otherwise, you can produce similar results if provided with the same dataset and the software. Then what will make you different from me? Why should someone hire you? Think about it. Nevertheless, because of easy to learn nature, simplicity and growing demand in the market, Python programming language definitely has a future and it's not going anywhere. According to Indeed.com, the average salary of Python programmer here in India is 4,70,000 per year and over 7 lakh here in my city Delhi. Before we move ahead, I just want to tell you that I will leave all the links of books, tutorials and courses that you need to start learning programming in the description. Some of them will be affiliates, means it will help support the channel if you use them. Okay, enough about Python. Now let's come to the programming language which is at the first position. And that programming language is SQL or SQL, whatever you want to call it. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. I am sure most of you have heard about it at least once in your lifetime. Some of you may argue that why SQL is at first place even when it's not a programming language. Let me clear that first. SQL is a data declarative programming language. In simple words, it's a relational programming language. In data declarative programming languages, we design logic without emphasizing much on the control flow, just like in SQL. So technically, SQL is a programming language. And it's not just any programming language, it's the only one that you use to communicate with the database. I mean there are others, but most of them are obsolete. Moreover, using SQL, you can not only store or retrieve data, but you can also create, delete or modify database objects. Even in the developer survey conducted by Stack Overflow in 2019, where over 90,000 developers participated, 54.4% of them voted SQL as the most popular technology, making it third on the list. Yes, SQL is third on the list. Here also, it's about Python, which is at the fourth place in the list of most popular technologies in 2019. See, most of the applications that are developed involve some sort of data. It could be a simple data like username and password or complex one like videos, pictures or spatial data. To deal with that data, you need a programming language. 
and that's where SQL comes in. Also, nowadays data is the key to the success of any business. Every business needs a well-organized data stored in the database. And again, to interact with that data, you need SQL. The crux here is that we need SQL as long as there is data and databases. But here, the rank of the programming language is not the point. If you combine both these languages together, then they become an unbeatable combination. Using these two together, you can kickstart your data science career. There is a huge demand for data analysts in the market. If you master these skills, then you can make a passive income and earn much more than the figures that I have showed you earlier in this video. Believe me, it's not me speaking, but the experience that I have earned over the last 6 years of working in this field. I have already done an extensive course on SQL and PLSQL which you can watch for free here on this YouTube channel. I will put their link in the description of this video along with the links of all the necessary resources that you need to start your data science career. You can click here to watch the next video and here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also press the bell icon to get notified. If you like this video then please press the thumbs up button. Thanks and have a great day. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.